What is up guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 Alpine Expansion. Now I've done some work around here, but this is the map. And you know what, I think my field, yeah my field's ready to mow again. So let's go up and get on the mower and we'll start mowing and we'll talk a little bit about this map. Oh, don't drive up on the fence, dummy. So, it appears that this map is primarily is all about grass, I guess. Um, and I've mowed this all down here already one time. This will be the second or third mowing. I'm not quite sure. Let's just get to it, though. This is going to be like the last mowing before I, I finally um, ted it and bale it or, or do something with it. So like I said, it appears that this Alpine expansion is... It's just primarily it's mowing and baling and taking care of your cattle, that sort of stuff. And I, I don't like. I mean, I, I I like the tractors that you start out with, but it just takes far. Look at the size of this field. This is the field that you start out with. Look at it. It's just with that like little single row mower. It's just too much takes too long to get it mowed so I ended up taking out a loan and getting this mower and I'm much much happier with it it, uh, it goes quite a bit quicker and I feel like I'm actually getting something done so we'll get this we'll get into some some fast forwardness And then we'll come back when we're ready to TED. Could you imagine doing all this with just like a single row mower? That would just be insane. Um, so we'll finish this up and then we will go over we'll go over some of the vehicles that some of the equipment that you start with in the game. Um, I have a feeling most anybody that's watching is probably interested in that anyway. They're actually some pretty cool vehicles. Um, the implements, I'm not as impressed by because it, it seems like the DLC is based on like a poor hay rancher or hay farmer or something like that. Um, 
I'll, I'll be honest, some of the equipment's pretty cool. And, and again, as soon as we're finished with this little grass here, we'll go over that. And we won't just look at the list. We'll actually look at every, each and every piece of equipment. And I'll talk about what I like and dislike about them. Then we got to get to tedding, wind rowing, bailing. A lot goes into this process. Alright, let's go look at some equipment. Ignore that mower on the right there. I bought that thinking one of the tractors that I already had could run it. Horribly mistaken. All right, so this is your little hand mower. Um, I actually kind of like it. It takes so long to do to cut anything, but I'll show you. See, could you only imagine? kind of cool. Here's a first person view. It's kind of cool, but you know what I mean. All right, next is this. You hear that? You hear the engine running? Neither do I. It's electric. How cool is that? It's just it's an electric tractor. There's your there's your battery with your cables and I mean I just think that's kind of cool. And it comes with a charging station. Right there. Um not the most powerful tractor in the world. Now they do offer, I'll show you. here so they this rigid track they do offer a larger one that you can purchase for hundred and sixteen thousand dollars but uh, actually this one this one's actually diesel hang on where's it at that one's diesel you know what I'm mistaken that is the only electric one right yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm mistaken. Imagine that. <clears throat> it does happen. So you get this waterer right there. You get this windrower right there. You get this mower and this tether right there. Those are the implements you get. This tractor's pretty cool. So this is the, what was it? The Lindner Lintrack 130. So a couple of things I like about this. Look at the warning lights. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Not only that, watch this. Look at that. Four wheel steering means you could steer super sharp. So that's pretty cool. And then this old this old timer This old tractor is is it's pretty cool actually. 
I mean, it's got tons of power for what it is. It's the Brewer, I don't know how to pronounce that, 6105. Pretty, pretty cool old tractor. And you get your truck, of course, same truck. Same truck we're used to. Uh, skid steer and bale spitter spreader thing is not included. That is, uh, I had to buy those. Part of the loan I took out about those. And you have your mower. And yeah, that's it. So, one thing. That does tractors park too close together. So, you start out with 10 cows, five brown and white, five black and white. Oh, I'm sorry. So, this stuff, the weight, the baler, and the, the plow, you also start out with those. As well as that loading wagon over there, that, whatchamacallit right there, material picker upper, and, and you, oh, and that bale picker upper, and you start out with a, a group of bales right here. You got your charging station for your electric tractor. You got your water station all right here at the farm. This workshop is new too. This is a placeable building. Oh, you get your bucket and everything too. Um, workshop's kind of cool. The house I'm disappointed in because you can't you can't go in it. I want to go in the house like you could with the. Uh, What's the other one? I keep on wanting to say El Pollo Loco, but that's not it. Um, but you can't go in the house, so I'm a little disappointed in that. It seems like it seems like going backwards to me. I haven't tried to get up on the balconies there and see if there's any. I mean, maybe I can get on a track. Maybe one of those doors opens up there. I haven't tried that yet, but anyway, guys. I do believe I will end this video here. Um, I'm going to go jump on the little electric guy and do some tedding. Uh oh. I have to get this guy out of the way first. I'll show you before I go how good this guy works. I actually, you know, it's not a powerhouse. It's just a little electric tractor, but I actually like it. I really do like it. It's just, it's cute. So anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next time thanks a million for watching everyone and we'll see you back on the farm